Um, somebody stole my markers. All right. When doing problems like this, uh, Brianna, what my preferred method to be able to do is to apply FOIL. All right. And even though usually when we did multiplying, if you guys remember, we did uh, multiplying binomial or complex numbers, which were binomials. Uh, we also did multiplying uh, uh, polynomials. We did multiplying binomials when we talked about factoring. And I always showed you guys you know, the box method. I prefer always the box method. However, in this case, I prefer to use FOIL. And the reason why I like to use FOIL is because a lot of times when you're multiplying radical expressions, it just takes a little couple extra steps. And FOIL kind of allows you, what the heck am I doing? FOIL allows you to kind of do a little bit extra work. So FOIL, which is an acronym for F starts for the first, first term in each, uh, each binomial. So therefore, I'm simply just going to multiply 1 times 2. Well, that just equals 2, right? That wasn't that bad. Next one is O, which stands for the outer terms. So therefore. I multiply the outer terms, which is 1 times negative square root of 10, which is equal to negative square root of 10. Does everybody follow me on that? Yes. Okay. Next one, inner, which is the inner terms of each binomial. So therefore, that is 4 square root of 10 times 2. Well, I can't multiply a number outside of a radical inside of a radical, so I just multiply the 2 times 4, which is? Um, 8 square root of 10. And then the last one is last, which stands for the last term in each binomial. So that's going to be 4 square root of 10 times negative square root of 10. Well, that equals negative 4 square root of 100, right? And square root of 100 is 10. 10 times negative 4 is negative 40. So now I'm going to add all of these terms up. So I have 2 minus square root of 10 plus 8 square root of 10 minus 40. Now, are my radicals, are my radicals exactly the same index? Yes. Are they exactly the same radicand? Yes. So therefore, I can just treat them like a variable. Negative x plus 8x would give you 7x. So therefore, this is technically like a 1 here, right? So that's like negative 1 square root of 10 plus 8 square root of 10 would be 7 square root of 10. And then 2 plus negative 38 is going to be, or 2 plus negative 40 is negative 38 minus 7 square root of 10. It is plus 7, correct. Thank you. Yes, the problem's right there. Oh, you're in the way. Oh. OK, now you see the problem. Okay, good. Oh, well, 